education will never again look like it did um, on March 13th of 2020 as we move forward. Cherry Hill superintendent on a Zoom conference call tried to sketch out what school might look like there this fall. His district of some 11,000 students will offer a hybrid model according to plans recently unveiled. It features one completely online class day. We are looking at one full day where nobody is in school and then two days where cohorts of children are in school. And then the class is being basically broken in half to reduce the number of children that we have in our schools. It might resemble this Newark summer school pilot program, small classes with desks six feet apart and surrounded by plexiglass shields. PPE like masks will become a major purchase for every district and some aren't sure they'll have enough teachers, including Camden, which surveyed its staff. To just get a sense of how many of our staff members would require accommodations or felt that they may not be able to come back in person uh, and right now it looks like that number is about a third of our staff members. We know that, that it's a real fact and we have to have plans, contingency plans in place to make sure that we can meet the needs of our, our learners. On Monday, Governor Murphy tossed school districts another curve saying any parent statewide will be able to opt out of in-person classes and choose online only instruction. That creates an even bigger challenge for school districts that are scrambling to plan for fall, says NJ Spotlight's John Mooney. It throws a wild card into all their planning uh, because you don't know how many families are going to um, be opting out. And so, you know, they have to not only figure out what their classrooms are going to look like, but busing schedules and, and how they're going to distribute food. And this adds another one. And this is a very unpredictable one. Camden, with 15,000 students, has managed through federal funds and philanthropic gifts to equip them all with Chromebooks and tablets, plus offer internet access to 92% of students. That's up from 30% earlier this spring. Camden won't announce its plans to reopen until July 28th. We still need to be flexible and ready to pivot back to full remote learning at any given time because the science tells us this. Um, we're, we're just learning. It's it's like we're planning, we're planning in quicksand, but we have to still plan. An FDU poll last week showed 46% of Jersey residents want schools to reopen, 42% prefer online only. Parents need to plan too. Plainfield schools posted an online form asking parents to choose their preference, but the city's mayor remains staunchly opposed to on-campus learning. I can't think of a way to isolate 11,000 students in a classroom setting. And so I think it would be dangerous for us to have our students return to the classroom. Mayor Adrian Mapp supports Governor Murphy's plan to bridge the so-called digital divide and provide laptops and internet service to every student for online study. Meanwhile, in Washington, Senate Republicans today propose spending $105 billion to help schools reopen, a political goal for the Trump administration districts feel caught in the middle. Ultimately, everybody's not going to be happy with the plan that we come up with. That just is real. There are too many people involved and there are too many moving parts that are involved. But all this preparation also depends on the virus. If transmission numbers trend upwards, plans will get thrown into disarray all over again. This thing is one big hot, you know, I won't say mess per se. I don't think I use that word, but it's certainly turning out to be quite a process and we're still more than a month out. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.